Here's a question pretty much we all ask ourselves at one point or another. Can we live past 100 years of age? The answer is, if you have chronic inflammation, studies say no. Hi, I'm Dr. Mitch, Chief Medical Officer of Hulight USA, and you're watching The Daily Dose. Now, Please stick with me until the end since I'm going to carefully describe how the pathways of inflammation come about. And by the end of this discussion, I'll show you what you could do about it. And if you like our content, please subscribe below, share with friends, ring that bell so you'll know as soon as we release new content. Several interconnected theories have been proposed regarding the mechanisms of aging. Now, this concept, which was coined by Franceschi and his group in 2000, is prevalent at times. When you have inflammation, low-grade, prolonged systemic inflammation throughout life, aging, etc., it that can get, makes a state, what we call a pro-inflammatory state, oh, as we get older to begin with. But the immune system dysfunction becomes obvious and occurs not only with age, but it also occurs with other diseases that create ongoing chronic inflammation. We call that immunosenescence. You probably have never heard of COX-1, COX-2, or 5-LOX. COX-1 is C-O-X-1. COX-2 is C-O-X-2, or 5-L-O-X. These are actually pathways to inflammation and don't feel bad because most folks haven't really heard of this and fortunately or unfortunately most physicians don't know how to discriminate between these pathways when they try to treat someone with inflammation but today i'm going to give you sort of a natural primer as to what things actually inhibit each of these specific pathways COX standing for cyclooxygenase, LOX lipooxygenase. Not important for this content, but just so you have some basis where we're starting. So if you wanted to naturally block COX or COX-1, the very first thing that comes to my mind, which does it very well, is aspirin. Not necessary a lot. Sometimes it only takes a small amount of aspirin that and naturally the omega-3 fatty acids. You've heard a lot about them and in shows to come, we'll talk about which omega-3 fatty acids are the best for your health. When it comes to COX-2 inhibition, two things stand out specifically that do an amazing job and they're natural. One is turmeric's active ingredient, which we call curcumin, and the other is resveratrol a product and type of thing that's produced by plants to ward off insects, etc. It's the thing about the French paradox that you read about that causes longer life as well. When it comes to 5-LOX, we have several things that may inhibit that pathway. Quercetin, which you find in apples, onions, green tea, are one of those products that definitely can block this pathway. Along with the quercetin, EGCG, which is the active ingredient in green tea, and one of my favorites too, which is boswellia, which you probably know by the normal name frankincense. Now, both pathways can be inhibited, or all three pathways, by, believe it or not, vitamin C. But here's the tough parts, and you should be aware about. First, not all diseases use all these pathways, but they can preferentially use one over the other. Here's something else you should think about. COX-1 is needed by our body to maintain healthy gastric mucosa. So a certain amount's needed, too much can cause pain, inflammation, fever, etc. So too much blockage on the other hand of this pathway could lead to a gastrointestinal bleed or even an ulcer. So what do you do? Okay, here are my suggestions. Start by blocking all three pathways by taking first 
preventative doses of the natural substances as uh, discussed. I do every day because I don't want inflammation to occur. The second good uh, thing that I will tell you is take some of these things at bedtime. The body naturally, while it cleanses the blood between one and four in the morning when the kidney is doing that job, it naturally turns off our normal antioxidant or anti-inflammatory pathways. That's why you see folks with certain diseases wake up in the morning and they have a lot of pain in their hands or their knees or feet, etc. So take a last dose of these things that are natural at bedtime. And of course, if you already have inflammation, larger doses may be required to block significant inflammation. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Mitch, Chief Medical Officer for Hue Light USA. And if you want more information, just visit our website at hulightusa.com. That's H-U-E-L-I-G-H-T-U-S-A.com. And by the way, thanks for all the comments on our Daily Dose. Uh, we love reading the stories. And be sure to tune in every Wednesday for new episodes. And check out our podcast at the end of each month for even more exciting content. Again, thank you so much for watching.